My name is Dave. I was just traveling up in Santa Barbara recently and doing some wine tasting, and I ended up coming home with three cases of wine from different wineries. And they all said, you really have to store this properly. And I said, what does that mean? Because now I keep it in my refrigerator at home. And I figured I better figure out what's uh, you know the best options in these mini wine cellars. You know, even if you want to uh, chill a bottle or store a bottle, there's a little bit of a difference here. So okay. let me show you uh, some examples of what we have. Okay. This one's really, really cool. First of all, I like it, Dave, because it's small. It's great for people who don't have a lot of room. How much does this, well, this one hold? Well, this one here is around, uh, was about $140, and it holds about six bottles. But it's cool because it has a super silent fan. It's already really cold. And usually you want to keep your temperature for storing wine around 55 to 57 degrees, red or white. So this works beautifully. It's super simple. You basically just open the door, put your wine in, close it. You have your temperature buttons. You even have a little light that you can put on. It's nice. So, okay. But there's another one I want to show you, which is even cooler. So Dave, this one here is just a little bit more sophisticated. It holds double the amount of wines, basically, number one, which is cool. And it does not let a lot of light in, which is something that's very nice. You don't want a lot of light, especially natural sunlight to hit wine. Artificial light is okay. But what's great about this one is the argon gas feature. Now, argon gas is basically a, a preserving gas. All it is, are these really cool little gas uh, canisters. You basically put it in and then you, you just uh, screw it in. And then what you do is you'd hit this little button, put your wine bottle up here, and then it gives you the recommendations right there. So say you're half a bottle, for best results, 15 seconds. So you'd hold it here for 15 seconds, pull it out, the cork in, and you can drink that in four years if you want. It's very, very cool. This one's around 300. So which one do you think? You gotta go with the nicer one. You have to, they are getting for $300. And it has more space. So I ended up buying the mini wine cellar, the, except the large one that David showed me, and it's great, and it looks really cool, and my friends came over and they thought, wow, you're so sophisticated, look at this. Now I feel like a real like wine uh, you know, aficionado.